Hi, I'm Aaron Heinem with Phoenix, and I'm here today with another video in the Drylink How To series. This one is how to set up a job and take your first daily readings. This will be in two parts. And we're going to start from the home screen, and we're going to be clicking on the jobs icon and then clicking the plus in the lower right to create a new job. And we'll name this job Thermostore. And you can see below that we have a description field. That's an optional field that you can use if you choose. And then below that we have the address field and Google Autocomplete will help us quickly find the address that we need and enter it. And then we have the start date which defaults to the current date. You can change that if need be. And then you can enter your insurance carrier uh, information as well as the claim number. And then below that, you're going to see the Enable IICRC Equipment Recommendations with a checkbox. I have this enabled. And if you have your uh, dimensions of your rooms entered and you have the pints per day of your dehumidifiers entered in the Equipment Details section, the app will automatically calculate all this for you. And I'll show you that a little bit later on. So the next thing you can do is you can see you can add a contact or you can add a job note. And I'm just going to add myself as a contact to show you how that works. So I'll enter my information here. You can enter a phone number. And then when I'm done with this, uh, rather than add more contacts or job notes, I'm going to click on Next Chambers because we need a drying chamber. And I'm going to name this chamber Test. It'll be Category 1, Class 1. And then we need at least one room. You can see it's named room one. We'll leave it as such. And we'll enter the dimensions here. We're going to enter a 10 by 10 by 8 uh, room. And the um, app will automatically calculate our square footage and cubic footage information. And then we'll enter the wet square footage. We'll put 60% for the floor. And then for the walls, We'll put um, 20% and we'll put all 64 wet square feet uh, above two feet. And then on the ceiling, we're gonna say it's 0%. And then we're, we're gonna add a second room and you can see that it's telling me in my first room that really that's a class two and did I wanna change that? And I, I will hit replace, but if I wanna change it at the chamber level, I have to go back and edit the chamber to say that it's a class two chamber this is just changing the room but I will do that okay and now I'm going to enter the information for my uh, second room I'll make it the same dimensions 10 by 10 by 8 and then I will enter 60 percent again for the uh, wet square footage or the wet the percentage wet on the floor I'm just going to put zero for the walls and zero for the ceiling and you can see there's a spot for insets and outsets uh, which uh, is used to calculate the amount of air movers needed in our IACRC equipment calculations. You can see I could have entered a number, but I'm just going to move on. Uh, again, it's telling me this is actually a class two, and I'm going to create the job. And here you can see we're at the job overview screen, and you can see what that looks like. And the next step is going to be to add our equipment. So I'm going to click on the plus sign and add equipment. And you can see it's all loading up, but I'm going to go into my filtering and I'm gonna select nearby units and nearby running units only. And when I do this, it's gonna show me, so what I can do is go to room one, turn on all the equipment, and there it all is, already uh, pre-selected for me. So all I have to do is hit assign to job and then tell it which room. So I'm gonna put it in room one, I'm gonna click assign to all, and then I'm gonna hit save. And now all my equipment for room one is already done. Now I'm going to click the plus button again, and I'm going to add more equipment, this time to room two. And so um, what I'm going to do is take the sensors out of there, and then the remaining equipment is what I'm going to put in room two. So I'll select room two and assign to all, and then save. And now I have all my equipment on the job, and I'm ready to take my daily readings. But this concludes part one, and in part two, we're going to show you the IACRC equipment recommendations in more detail. We're going to take our daily readings, and we're going to show you how to use the DryTag RH and the DrySense.